What's up? I'm Chocolate Shoot. Welcome back to another video. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you how to fix errors that involve your Windows system saying the settings are managed by your organization. This can happen through multiple ways. More than likely, you've run something on your system to uninstall bloatware and change system settings for you. And by doing so, it's changed them in a way that confuses your Windows install, where it's not able to change those options pretty much no matter what. If you used any software to debloat your system, try firing it up and seeing if one of those options is preventing you from changing settings on your system. You can get this error in Windows Update when trying to use certain features. It's managed by my organization. If you're not able to change this, there's a few things that you can try. First of all, hit start and open up settings. Inside of the settings window, head across to accounts and scroll down until you find access work or school. Then make sure you're not connected to anything here. If you are, you'll need to disconnect if these are managing your settings. Then we can try hitting start, typing in system properties, where we can open up view advanced system settings. Inside of here, on the computer name tab, head across to network ID. And inside of here, make sure that you have this as a home computer selected. Click next and you'll be asked to restart your system. The next time you reboot your system, the settings that were previously blocked from being changed on your system will probably be fixed. This is the step that will most likely work for you. You'll get a pop-up reminding you to restart your system when you click OK or close the window. If you've gone ahead, restarted and you're still having issues and you're absolutely sure you didn't run software to modify settings for you, we can try making sure that Windows allows us to change settings in the group policy editor. You'll need Windows Pro, whether it's 10 Pro or 11 Pro, in order to open up group policy editor. Hit start, type in group policy as such, and you'll be opening edit group policy. Then inside of here, head to administrative templates, expand this, then Windows, so Windows components. And if you're having issues with Windows Update, for example, I'll scroll down to Windows Update, expand it, followed by Manage End User Experience. And inside of here, what you're looking for is Configure Automatic Updates. If you double click it and see you have Enabled or Disabled selected, select Not Configured. Then after clicking OK and closing Group Policy Editor, hit Start, type in CMD or Terminal or even Command Prompt, right click and choose Run as Administrator. Then in the pop-up, type in GP Update, one word, space, forward slash, force. This will refresh the group policy rules for our system and make sure everything's applied. When this completes, you can close this window as soon as we're able to type. There we go, close. This is more particularly if you're trying to update Windows and you're getting an error saying something about some settings are managed by your organization. If that is you, something else you can try is making sure diagnostics are enabled. So hit start, open up settings, then head across to privacy and security, followed by diagnostics and feedback, and make sure that you have diagnostic data turned on. In my case, I've used tools specifically to prevent diagnostics and telemetry. So that's why I'm getting this pop-up over here and this one as well. In this case, I'll need to open up the same or a different deep loading tool in order to re-enable this in order to possibly fix the Windows update error that you're getting. Otherwise, you can skip over the step. This is more particularly just for Windows update, but you're getting that error. These are a few different steps that you can take. And ultimately, it's probably because of some sort of debloating or setting that's been changed. So I'd highly recommend you have a look into programs such as O and O Shut Up 10, which is a really popular tool to manage Windows and how some of the settings work, stop telemetry and things like that. This tool is super popular, if not the most popular. So it's a good idea to download it if you've ever used it before and either re-enable certain settings that are giving you issues, features, etc. Or make sure that if you did use this before, download it again now and make sure that whatever feature you're trying to use isn't disabled here. Simply apply the settings just like that. The managed by your organization error that you could be getting will most likely disappear. Anyways, that's really about it for this quick guide. Hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao. By the way, a huge thank you to my first ultimate supporter, KZ.